Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to design 4-step arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. I have created 5 different slides uh, with a small uh, design variation. Add a new slide, go to insert tab, shapes and select circle hollow. Make the height and width of the circle to 1.88 inches. Go to view menu and enable the guides and bring the circle in the center of the slide. Align center and align middle. You can remove the, the outline. Go to insert tab, select shapes and select rectangle. Draw the rectangle to cover the circle, half circle and I am going to subtract it through merge shapes bring it down press ctrl D and rotate it to horizontal and align it again press ctrl D and We can create four semicircles here. Create one more by pressing Ctrl D and change the color and make the other half of the circle. You have to continue this for the remaining three semicircles make sure that it is aligned properly select all the objects and bring to the center And you can change the, the background color. You can select some gray color. And select all the semicircles. And change the color to white. Go to insert tab, shapes, select oval. And you can increase the, the width and the height of the circle to 1.5. Shape outline and remove the outlines. And change the background color to blue or any other you, color you like and send it to back. And do the same thing for the remaining circles. You can change the color, for, you can give some different colors for each circle. Right mouse click, format object and give some shadow effects. You can increase the distance.
for these two circles the shadow to be the opposite side this is perfect now go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and no outline give the shadow effect insert one more rectangle and make it no outline and you just make sure the background color and the color of this rectangle should be matching So it will give you some cutout effect. Select both the objects and group it. Ungroup this and change the shadow effect. Yeah, this is all right now. Group it back. and delete this one and press ctrl D and copy the top go to insert shapes select again the rectangle and draw the small rectangle there which is covering the semicircle remove the outline change the color to blue color and send to back go to insert again shapes select the arrow make it no outline and rotate it to horizontal and yes align it and select the semicircle and bring to front you have to make sure the the height and width should be same of the arrow and the other small rectangle You can give any color of your choice. And make sure that it does not blend with the background color. Now you can just copy and paste and do the similar steps for the rest of the circles.
bring to front change the color somewhat darker see this is not perfectly aligned so you have to make sure that when you're doing it has to be aligned and then you can select the green one as well and give some darker shade send to back and select the semicircle and bring to front now you can see our design is almost ready now just change the color you can play with the colors make sure that you get the right colors when you're doing the design for your presentation and I'm just going to add the text you can give any font make sure that don't give any comic sans fonts or some funny fonts it has to be more professional press ctrl D and you can add some more the text 2 3 and 4 that's right you can change the color according to the color of the arrow and I'm just going to change the background color of the circle to somewhat uh, a lighter color so that uh, it will does not blend with the arrow and the background color and make sure that you have to align all the circles and the, the shapes so that it will have in the center And, and then I'm going to add the text for each arrow you can add the text directly on the arrow itself or you can create a separate uh, text box and you can add the text uh, whichever it's uh, easy for you you can do it Now let's start giving the animation effect. Select the first small rectangle and give the wipe effect and start from right. And make sure that this is uh, the duration is very fast. Let me just make it maybe 0.3 seconds and give the same animation effect to the arrow. Make it from the right and this should start select the second one and this should start after previous the first and then the second 
now you can just copy the animation effect or you can if you want to do it you can do it once again start from left select the circle again from left and you can just change the I'm just making it all after previous this first will come and then the second now you can copy the animation by using animation painter select the arrow and the arrow where you're going to animate and this will save a lot of your time or I always use uh, animation painter to save the time for my slides now if you see one two three and four and thank you for watching my channel and please don't forget to subscribe it and see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye